got dandelion up in here. I like to say the dandelion is dandelion, but I like to say from the throat. You got to get it from the back of the throat. Dandelion. Can y'all say that? Come on, say it with me. Dandelion. You got ah, ah. Got to get it from the back of the throat, okay? Okay, one more time. One, two, three. One, I'm gonna, one two, three, go. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Dandelion. <laughs> What's up, Bats of Bates? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. So, I am back and I'm in my bedroom. I did not feel like going downstairs. I have no idea which channel I'm going to put this video on. I just know the girls beg me for it. They always try to give me a deal or try to negotiate, but they never fulfill their end of the bargain. I gotta work on that because it's not good. And I was a little hungry too and didn't feel like cooking. I am so exhausted. Uh, before I get further into this video, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit your post notifications. It does not cost you a thing to hit the thumbs up button. All right, boo? So how many of you like, I call it Chipotle. They say Chipotle, Chip I don't know. But you, you, you know, <laughs> I don't know if Chipotle, okay, just let me say it my way, okay? So calm down. Calm down, just let me say it my way. I don't know if they have that, um, have it where you are. I don't know if they cross over regions and so on and so forth. So I never eat Chipotle, Chipotle, I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's like now I feel like I'm getting even hungrier now that I started this mess. Um, I don't know what I got, I just got what Bobby got, okay. It's a steak bowl with guacamole, white rice, black beans. It says more steak, medium corn, sour cream cheese, and lettuce. And they had a deal, which is why they tried to convince me, you buy one, you get one free. That's what it was. Buy one, get one free. And so that's the, um, the reason they were begging for the bowls. Because they know the bowls are pretty expensive. Um... I don't know. That's what it looks like. And I guess the side I looked at it, I was like, that cost $11? I could have made that in my kitchen. Y'all know I make everything good. I make everything good. So, I, this is not stuff I normally eat, like, ever. Mmm. This is something that I probably should normally eat. Like, all the time. That was good, sis. That was a good bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's all right. I still feel like this is stuff that we can make at home. You find the right sauce. Babe, babe. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. I got a little guacamole. And I was like, white rice. This looks like basmati rice. Wait, maybe that was cheese. So how y'all doing? I'm exhausted, guys. Exhausted. I wanted to give you guys an update. And I popped my, I threw those eyelashes off, child. <laughs> they was getting on my nerves. It was a long day. I would say Monday and, Monday and Tuesday. My busiest days. Because Monday... My students email me over the weekend. I don't check emails on weekend. Mm -mm. So when Monday comes, baby, the emails are crazy. Mm. Emails are off the chain. I don't think there's anything special with the white rice. Mm. It's good though. I'm 
even know if I would be running out to buy this again. I don't know. Y'all know I make everything good. Mm, like everything good, bro. I make everything good a lot. So anyway. So Monday, I'm usually answering tons of emails. Why am I gray low? Why is my child failing? Why am I failing, Miss Basil? Why I got a zero? I did that assignment. I know I did that assignment. I got a 75. I got a 90. I got a 100. Uh-uh, Miss Basil. I know I did it. I shouldn't have that grade. Uh-uh. Can you look into this right away? Can you explain to me why you telling me I need to redo something? Because I told you to rewrite something and when I and I gave you suggestions, that's what I expect you to do. There's no need for you to question the teacher. If she's giving you advice and editing your paper or giving you advice on how to improve your paper, why are you going to question that? Review it, revise it, edit it, resubmit it. That's what I told you to do and I will change your grade. Point blank, period. Why is that so hard? And as soon as you do that, I go out of my way to change your grade in both locations. Mm. Well, honey, they give me the business, the parents and the students. So, with this online teaching, because we're all learning, we're still all learning the system, whatever. It's a lot of investigating. Why does the child have a zero over here, but they pass it over there? Because sometimes the programs don't speak to each other. And then I have to manually put in grades or it's a long process to merge one platform to another platform. And it's such a tedious process. So during my tutorials, I was like, I had to explain. I said, that's only going to happen once a week on Wednesdays. I will merge grades. But if you see a grade in one platform, just calm down. Calm down. I'm going to merge it. Just calm down. You know, and if it's report card time or something like that, you know, you know, I have to fix it within that time frame, of course. But as soon as somebody does something in one platform, I don't run, I got 170 students. I don't run on over to change, put it in the other, other platform. No, cause it's a, it's a big process. So once we, I'll merge all the grades. Y'all just worry about doing the assignments that have been assigned in a timely manner. How about that? <laughs> mm. But I, do not give um, penalties for late stuff. Just just do it. Whatever you can. And she said this up uh, for tea or something? I said, you wrap your food in it? She was like, no, I just, she, Bobby, my daughter. She just bites off of it. Mm. You know what? This reminds me of Rody. Have you ever had Rody? So, if any of you are home with your kids or homeschooling or anything, how's it going for you? It's not, ooh, this is like rubber. This is like rubber. This is like a bubble gum. <laughs> I don't, ooh. I don't like that feeling, y'all. So, how's it going, the homeschooling going for you guys? Or if you're home with kids or something like that? Or not, or if not you, people that you know? Or something like that. How are they coping? I know people were mad when they said we weren't going back to school this year. I was pretty sure we were going to go back. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, honey, I had my tutorial today. And I stayed up the night before probably 2.30 in the morning. So by the time I made it to bed, I wasn't sleeping. 
I will tell you this. When the online school started, I did work from my bed. Mm-hmm. Not my tutorials. But answering emails, doing lessons, correcting stuff. For several weeks, I worked from my bed. But honey, mm-mm. In the mornings, I get my tail up. And I go downstairs to a different room. I set up a cute little space in the garage. At this point, I hope you guys enjoyed my little garage makeover. You're not, I mean, it's nothing special, but right? it was a mess. It's still a mess, but it's a better mess. I have tutorials once a week. For one hour. And you have to take into consideration a child's attention span. It's not going to last an hour. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So. I have an itinerary. Every five to ten minutes. We're moving on. And I stick to that schedule. Mm-hmm. I throw in some games. We're going to share out positive things. And now any announcements I may have. Any student highlights. So I already got my highlight student for next week. Mm hmm They can all earn points for participation. Mm-hmm. So anyway... Then we played, you know, like Family Feud. Then we played Inference. You gotta make inferences, educated guesses based on the context clues. So we played the inferencing game. And I had um, 33 people in my tutorial, which is a lot. And then I had some technical difficulties because if I'm sharing my screen i lost a few features so you, for, for my tutorials that are that big i really really need a moderator i need someone else in there with me or mm -mm. yeah i really need someone in my tutorial with me because they can read the comments catch behavior just like on YouTube how sometimes you know I can make um I don't know what you call it on YouTube I don't forgot y'all it was a long day how you guys can help me moderate all the comments and stuff that's what I need during my tutorial and I had one student I had to um turn I had to log her out goodbye mm-hmm I locked her out begging for attention dancing you're not here to learn goodbye first time i had to do that and because my i was sharing my screen i didn't let more students in so we probably would have got up to about 36 and that's that's pretty big mm-hmm I'm pretty big. So I, I had a good turnout. But what I do, I email the parents the night before. I'll show you my little um, agenda. And I send them an agenda. They know what's going to be on the agenda, what's to come. Excuse me. So check out my little agenda. Isn't she cute? She cute. She cute, boo. So I send, I send, I send her out the night before to remind the parents and the students. Um, but before we can do mass emails, we have to get approval. So I, I sent my approval. All right. I sent the email or a text message to my leads. You mind if I send this out? You know, just so I'm following protocol because it's a mass email. And um, they was like, sure, go sit down somewhere it's after six o'clock. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. And I'm already set up for next week. Done. Boop, boop, boop. Mm-hmm. And so, this week, oh my nose. She's like, whenever I get on camera, my nose wants to itch. So this week, it was my turn to present the lesson for the next week. So Tuesday is a busy day for me. But as I was preparing the night before, I was just on a roll. I was just on a roll. I was on a roll, huh? And when it came time to present, Shared my screen, boop, 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 done. Any questions, any suggestions, anybody, anybody, boy, boy, anybody there? Y'all got anything to say? Few little suggestions to add to it, done. All right, it's time for me to get to my tutorials. Great meeting, guys. <laughs> Boom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> mm hmm And I set everything up because there was another lady who had been um, leading the meetings, but now they want to split it with the teachers, which is fair. I came with the business. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, I don't like the photo. That we send out to the kids once a week. I said, it's already done. It's already prepared. If you want to add something or take something out of the folder, be my guest. Just make a copy of it before you make changes. Period. Mm-hmm. Folder done. Everything done. Mm-hmm. So I was pretty proud of myself. But it took me all night. I didn't have to have everything done, but I was just on a roll, and I just had to go with it. I just had to flow with it. Mm-hmm. How long have I been home? I've been talking for 18 minutes already. I did have a story time. I don't know what happened to that child. Look, I've been on 18 minutes. Some of y'all probably done clicked off. <laughs> but. That's literally. I didn't even take a thumbnail. That's literally the day in life of a teacher. It's like we're putting out fires. Figuring out grades and lessons. How to reach the kids. How to engage the kids. How to get them to interact with each other. I like doing discussion posts. This is a lot behind the scenes. And then when you have those parents. And I also, th I also think it matters how you communicate with the teacher. How you come off to a teacher. How you speak to a teacher. It means, it means, the, it means the world to us. Because we're dealing with so many personalities. And now, we deal with parents even more now than we did when the child was in school. Mm-hmm. But baby, let me tell you. Let me tell you that. You put in that zero, honey. <laughs> you put in a zero, child, the email be blowing up. Why does my child have a zero? They've never had these grades before. I don't understand. Well, you better understand them. Your child's not doing the assignments. How about that? Let me check on that for you. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm He didn't do last week's assignment, and he missed the two assignments this week. So that's three zeros averaged into about seven grades. So you do the math. Fail. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
They be ready to chop our heads with, uh-uh, they never had these type of grades. Well, ma'am, ma'am, calm down. I'm going to let you know. Calm down. They will get on you real quick. Mm-hmm. But, so, your day is spent. Well, let me find out for you. Because, so, I write, so, on Monday, right? I'm going to go, y'all. I'm going to go. On Monday, I set up my cute little area in the garage. It, oh, it's so peaceful. Oh! The weather is gorgeous, pretty. The garage, my little area is cute. I'm going to show you my little area. Look at my little area. My little, she cute. She cute, cute. Uh-uh, you got, she cute. I sprayed the garage. I got my um, citronella candles. I got two candles. Boom, boom. And I start to burn those before I go out there and before I open up the garage door. And then I spray my feet. I always put on sneakers. I don't be going out there with no sandals on. So I spray my sneakers. And I usually try to have a long sleeve shirt on. And I'll spray my chair. So I'm protected. I got the force feel, honey. Yes. <laughs> my force feels going, sis. And then I have a list. I open the emails. I'm like, you know, crack open that, that, um, that laptop. I'm like... emails for days i'm like joy you got like 99,000 fires to put out here today okay you got 99,000 fires so what i do i go to each email i write down the students names okay ma'am i'll look into that for you i'll get back to you but before the end of the day okay ma'am okay sir okay cindy i'll get back to you let me investigate so I write down every child's name on my little notebook. I do do that. I'm easily distracted. Yes, I am. It might take me a while, but I'm going to get through my list. It, I'm going to get through my list. I'm like, oh, I'm thirsty. Oh, I want something to eat. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, there's another package from Connie. Oh, what's this? All right, let me go here. Oh, let me go to the bathroom. Okay, what we having for dinner? Oh, the kid needs something. Oh, my daughter is talking to me about something. All this, that. So, the personality of the day changes every day, but I, I tackle that list that I set for myself because it's investigating the grade, the grades or lessons or they don't understand something. So, it's always about that or whatever. So, I tackle my list and I go back. Well, ma'am, after further investigation, looks like your child didn't do the discussion post where they had to write a minimum of two sentences. They also had to reply to two of their classmates and respond with two complete sentences. The word, writing the words, I agree, will not get them credit for that response. No, that is not acceptable. The minimum requirement is two complete sentences. I agree does not meet the criteria. So anyway, ma'am, they got a zero for this because they refused to do that or they forgot to do that. I always say they forgot. So it's a whole bunch of this. I have to go through this platform, that platform, double check, and then sometimes I triple check to make sure. So I go down my list. I did have another story time, but I guess I'll save that for another video. I'll save that for another video, boo. And, um, oh, and I'm in my little Christmas pants. <laughs> I have baggy Christmas pants. I made these pants, I think, two or three years ago. I got a pattern. I wanted to see. Bobby will always have to thread the machine for me because my little eyes do not work the same anymore. And I don't know how to thread the machine. I just don't know how. But, um, I may make some more, but I want to make some with pockets. So I want to try, but I'm not sure of the material and all that stuff. I'm not sure how that's working out, you know, around here. I know they're going to start to phase open different stores and so on and so forth. And I know this is getting long, so just calm down, okay? Calm down. What else you doing, boo? What else you doing, sis? So I want to make some of these, but I, they have to have pockets. They must have pockets, and they're super, super baggy. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get up, y'all. But they're baggy, and they're just so comfy. And I was like, oh, Christmas pants. Ah, uh, I'm in the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> you know, that's the holiday I like the least, you know, because it, it gives me the most stress trying to get stuff for the kids that I, I can't. 
so I just like when it's over. I do like the decorating part. I do enjoy Vlogmas. I do enjoy Vlogmas. I enjoy it because it's doing activities with the kids, bringing us closer. Clinton's not, you know, used to it. He, he, he uh, anyway, so I do enjoy, you know, bringing my family to you guys every day. It is a ton of work. But I do enjoy that a lot. And it's like, you know, the pressure is on. You got it. You got to be on it. You got to be on it. <laughs> so I do enjoy Vlogmas. Um, and especially that it, it does bring the family closer together in activities. And it's still building um, those memories for the kids, you know, long after I'm gone. So I, I do like doing that. So sometimes I'm not only doing the videos for you or for the vlog or for the low views. It's more... Um, the deeper meaning behind it is creating those memories for my children, whether they're good ones or bad ones. Hopefully they can take my rants and all those things. Maybe they can listen to those and maybe empathize one day, do better with their children, using as examples with their children. Oh, let me just tell you this before I go, calm, calm down, okay? Calm down. So anyway, quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet. So I'm in the room, sis. Mind my business, right? Mind my Ooh, I got some other stuff. Oh, this it was just long. I'm just gonna stop. Okay, let me just tell you this one thing. Just hold, hold on before you be clicking off going somewhere else. Move this to the side. Tortilla thing was like rubber child. I don't think they'll be getting my coin again. Thank God I got the free burrito bowl. Um, so Bobby was watching a show. We don't have cable, but we have Netflix and Hulu. And something else is on that TV. I have to get a fire stick. I haven't done that yet. So, um, so she told me to watch Pretty Little Fires or Little Mini Little Fires. And that's on Hulu. She told me it was Hulu. And this is iced tea. I drink iced tea all day. Or regular tea. Oh, that's good, child. So this is, um, I don't know what kind of tea it was. I showed y'all in another video, but I got dandelion up in here. I like to say the dandelion is dandelion, but I like to say from the throat. You got to get it from the back of your throat. Dandelion. Can y'all say that? Come on, say it with me. Dandelion. You got, ah, ah, got to get it from the back of the throat, okay? Okay, one more time. One, two, three. One, I'm gonna, one, two, three, go. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Dandelion. <laughs> That's how you got to say it, okay? So Bobby, I was laying in my bed, minding my business, and um, Bobby is my 17-year-old daughter. She has a spirit like mine. We are like, um, we're loving people. We're people pleasers. We don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Um, we wouldn't tell somebody like it is. I mean, I might, you know, as a teacher, it kind of hurts my heart to do that with the student. But sometimes I have to do what I have to do. But my spirit will ache. Y'all know I'll be crying and stuff and get upset. So Bobby has a kind, sweet spirit like me. Sydney is going to make a great boss because she's going to tell you. She's going to tell you. And she gets moody and get her attitude. She's going to tell you. Okay? And, um, let me tell my clip. But Clinton is, he, he's really silly, but, oof, I just, ooh, make my nerves, but I can't, I can't. So, anyway, um, so Bobby just finished the little fires. I don't know what it is, y'all. Just, just go with it right now. I'll tell you what it is for sure. I'll look it up. And she sent me, I'm not gonna read it to y'all. Okay, maybe I'll read it. Y'all, y'all in a rush to go somewhere? Let me tell you what Bobby wrote. Y'all ain't going nowhere, right? Just hang out for a little bit. Just calm down, Okay. Um, what Bobby say? Where you at, Bobby? And it's kind of long, but she, yeah, where y'all going? Where you, where you going? To a house party? Uh huh. So Bobby sent me this long, this long. I'm like, what happened? What's she begging for now? Cause usually when they hit me up, they asking for something. Oh. <clears throat> So I did get my little stimulus money gone. I had to catch up on my car note, boo. So I had to double up on my car note. Trust my car note was like a house payment. No, anyway, so I had to catch up on my car note. And Bobby, she really needed a little laptop. So she found a cheap little laptop <clears throat> that she needed. Now she's asked. Now she needs running sneakers. I mean, 
I'm like, my stimulus gone, boy. <laughs> that gone, okay? You know, um, so anyway, this is what she said. Just calm down, I ain't going nowhere. Just, if you still here, baby, so go ahead and listen to what Bobby said, okay? And you, you with me? All right, you. All right, she says, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you do for us and all the sacrifices you've made for us. Watching that show, Little Fires Everywhere. Oh, she put that in parentheses. She's a very good writer. Very, very good writer. So she get that from me. <laughs> so anyway, <coughs> quiet. And then she says, um, that show really opened my eyes to what I failed to see pertaining to everything that single moms go through. I'm truly grateful for everything, mom. I'm truly, truly grateful. And I feel like I don't say it enough. In the show, one of the characters said that she always had what she needed, but she never, but never what she wanted. But you have done everything for us. And not only made sure we had what we needed, but also did everything you could to make sure we had what we wanted that was in reason. And I'm just so thankful for that. You always put us first despite everything you've been through. So just again, thank you for being the perfect mom in my eyes. You are truly appreciated. The show was able to show me that some kids aren't afforded the simple luxuries that you have made possible, like living in the area we do, or me being able to have my own room in this cute little townhouse. I'm sorry if I've ever been selfish or not appreciative enough because this life that we are living is enough for me and I love you for working so hard to make living this life possible. Thank you, truly mom, I love you forever. And you know, Christmas, it, it breaks my heart and a lot of my subscribers, a lot of you um, who are still sticking around, you know, you help make Christmas, you know, possible and stuff for the kids and made it better. I don't know what I was going through at that time. I think this was our first Christmas here and just moved here. So it was a big investment to leave the other house to move here. So it was just, it was, it was tight. So Christmas just always stresses me out, I, and, and 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 I just lost the house and moved here. It was just, it was a lot. So thank you guys again for helping making Christmas. You know they were excited about it. You know all the the mail and the cards and you know even just you know your your comments and stuff was a lot. So thank you. So it's just like I tried to do my best, but you. I, you guys know I won't ask for anything for myself. I'll ask for my classroom. I did, um, I said the office out there, you know, if you guys want to send stuff for the kids for Christmas, I did put that out there um, with the Amazon wish list. I did do that um, this year, but I didn't have anything on that list for me. Zero. It wasn't, it wasn't about me at all. Um, so it was about the kids and some people ask for my cash app. I will not give my cash app. It's like I'm not on YouTube to ask for money. It's, it is to share my story, share my frustrations, what I go through as a single mom. Um, it's, it's, it's my outlet to vent. Some of you don't always agree with my vents. Um, I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm an easygoing person. Sometimes I drop the ball on a lot of stuff. I'm human. That's just my my personality, my makeup. My mom was very, very easygoing. I don't know what she went through with my older brother and sister who are now deceased. I don't know, but they put her through H E double hockey stick. They put her through the business, honey. And um, so but with me, I guess I'm more laid back like her. And um so I just do the best I can with what I have, what I know based on my experiences, my history, my parents. So you come in, I'm coming to the table with all those things. So I guess, you know, you guys hanging in there with me as I share my crazy stories, my highs, my lows, my ups and downs. And you guys have been there. You know, I know who the true subscribers are. 
um, through the thick and thin, and I do appreciate that. So I say that's enough for me. But some people ask for the cash app, or you should put your cash app. I, I tell my heart just won't let me do it. <laughs> it just won't let me do it. <laughs> So, you know, I mean, there have been some people who found ways to get through to do things um, because they want to do things out of the goodness of their heart. There's some people like Connie, then you got Sharon Johnson, and, you know, people find ways to do little things. Jackie Newton. I mean, the list goes on and on. I could go on and on, guys. <laughs> I can. And my memory kind of sucks, too. But um, I have to look at my notes. <laughs> And so as I get older, okay, and it's just, I just, I'm just grateful, you know, for those little things. I mean, if somebody really, really, there's some people who've done certain things through the mail and like, oh, you know, I'd rather you not, you know, disclose my name or information. I've had a few of those and, you know, I'm just appreciative. So when they ask for my cash app, why don't you post it? Because I feel as though I'm not on here to ask money. I'm on here just to hang out with you guys to share my stories to you know vent to cry to laugh and to all those things so I just appreciate those who do take the time to watch like this is gonna be a long one a long one yes it is oh, maybe I should break it into two videos guys okay anyway <laughs> um okay so I with that said thank you I love you but I wanted to share that about Bobby maybe that maybe I should break this into two videos I mean it's just already long it's been like over 30 minutes oh my god <laughs> alright guys I love you um, give this video a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe I gotta say my my story time for another time child I'll probably forget maybe I should write it on my bathroom mirror cause I'ma forget alright until next time later